Hi there, it's Annie from the Youth Room at the BB Library, and I'm so glad to see you for another virtual story time. We'll read stories, sing songs, and create a craft together as well. Now, this week, I'm thinking a lot about the ocean. So I want to share a couple stories that I really enjoy that are all about the ocean or creatures in the ocean with you today. Uh, the first story I want to share with you is Whale by David Lucas. And this is a story about a whale who ends up in a town. That's not a very good place for a whale, is it? Whales belong in the ocean. So we'll have to read this and see what happens to this whale. See if he can get back home. And I also wanted to share with you today, My Ocean is Blue. And this book was written by Darren Labou and the drawings were done by Ashley Barron. And this is all about a trip to the beach and different ways that we might describe the ocean. So we'll get to follow a child to the beach and see the different ways that they describe the ocean and all the different things that we can do while we're at the ocean too. So since we're reading, about the ocean, I thought for our craft today, we could make something that we usually see in the ocean. And maybe you can guess what it is. It has scales, can be small or big. It has fins and it goes bloop, 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 a fish. So today we will make some construction paper fish. And you just need a few things to make these. We are going to need, well, some construction paper, of course, since we are making construction paper fish. We are also going to need some scissors. We are going to need a little bit of tape. Um, you can also use a click, click, a stapler if you have one. If not, tape works just fine. And last but not least, we're going to need some markers for this craft too. And we'll make our fish crafts after we read a few stories together all about the ocean and after we sing some songs together as well. So I'll put my little fish away for now. Now before we jump into our stories, let's start by singing our song, Hello Friends. And to sing this song, we are going to use a little bit of American Sign Language to help us. So I'll show you the different signs and then we'll sing the song together. So the first sign that we need is, hello. And for this, I'm just gonna take my hand and give a little salute. Hello. Friends, I'm gonna use my two pointer fingers for this and I'm gonna tap them on top of each other. Chris, cross. Friends. It's time, I'm gonna tap my wrist for time to say, I point to my lips for say, hello, and salute again. Ready to sing? Let's start. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. That was excellent. Now, Let's do one more thing before we jump into our stories. I always like to wake up a couple different body parts before beginning my stories. So let's start by waking up our hands and we'll wake them up with some claps first and then we'll do a couple other body parts too. Ready? We wake up our hands with a clap, 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 clap. We wake up our hands with a clap, clap, clap and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our heads with a nod, 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 nod. We wake up our heads with a nod, 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 and we wiggle our waggles away. We wake up our fingers with a flick, 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 flick. We wake up our fingers with a flick, flick, flick and we wiggle our waggles away. Let's do one big one and get all those wiggles out. Ready? <gasps> Whoa. Well, I'm feeling nice and awake now. How about you? Let's go ahead and jump right in to our first story for today. And the first one that we are going to read is whale. So let's see what happens to this whale who ends up in a town by mistake. 
and his story was written by David Lucas. Joe was sound asleep as the waves crashed on the shore and the windows rattled in the gale until boom! The whole house shook, the floor tipped up, and Joe fell out of bed. It was morning, but it was still dark outside. Hmm, something was wrong. What do you think happened? Why do you think it's dark outside in the morning? Hmm, let's keep reading and find out. Grandma May, said Joe, it's still dark outside. They went to the door, but they couldn't get out. Hmm, I wonder why they couldn't get out of their house. Joe ran up to the attic. There's someone at the window. Grandma May put on her going out hat, grabbed her umbrella. Right, come on then, she said, up the chimney. They stood on the roof. A fish, said Grandma May. A whale, Joe whispered. Joe and Grandma May clambered up, up, up to the top of the whale. The townsfolk were all there talking at once. Even the owl who lived in the clock tower was there. The mayor spoke up. Oh, whale, what have you done? Our town is ruined. I'm truly sorry, boomed the whale. I was frolicking in the bay, singing in the storm. I got carried away trying to balance on my tail. Now I'm done for. You may as well chop me into pieces. I would make a magnificent fish pie. He would indeed, agreed the fishmonger. But we must help the whale, said Joe. How? asked the mayor. Ooh, I don't know, said Joe. At least let me ask the owl, said Joe. Who now, said the owl, let me ask the wind. And the owl flew high in the air. He really would make a magnificent fish pie, said the fishmonger. No, said Joe. At last the owl returned. I have spoken to the wind, he said. The wind has gone to speak to the sun. The sun will want to speak to the moon. The moon will want to speak to the innumerable stars. The innumerable, in, innumerable stars will, no doubt, want to talk it over amongst themselves. <sighs> then we must wait, said Joe. And so they waited. And waited. It was morning when at last the wind fluttered in the owl's ear. The wind has spoken to the sun, said the owl. The sun has spoken to the moon. The moon has spoken to the innumerable stars. The innumerable stars have talked amongst themselves and they are all agreed that we must sing. Sing, said the mayor. Sing, said the fishmonger. But what shall we sing, asked Grandma May. The rain song, shouted Joe. The rain song doesn't work, said the mayor. Everyone knows that. But Joe began to sing. The owl began to hoot, and soon everyone joined in. Rain, rain, splish, splash, thunder, crack, and lightning flash. And then the whale joined in, in a voice so big that the land shook. It was only a song. They hadn't really expected it to work. But what's happening? Well, I see some rain coming down. Maybe the song did work, do you think so? Let's see what happens next. <gasps> Soon, the whole town was, town was flooded. Uh-oh, the whale was afloat. 
But now we are stuck, said the mayor. And where are all the townsfolk stuck? Do you see them? They're all on top of the whale. Uh-oh. I'll do my best to make amends, said the whale. And he began to drink. <laughs> he drank and drank until the land appeared. And one by one, the townsfolk went ashore. Our town, groaned the mayor. Oh dear, said Joe. What happened to their town? Everything's all fallen apart. But out in the bay, the whale was singing. It's fish language, the owl whispered to Joe. And every kind of sea creature and seabird came toward the shore, carrying shells and bright pebbles and pearls. And an army of fiddler crabs marched up the beach and set about making the town more beautiful than ever before. The townsfolk were delighted. Thank you, whale, they said, and waved goodbye. Goodbye, boomed the whale. Thank you, Joe, he called. I promise I'll come back and see you again one day. So they all worked together in the end, and they saved the whale and got the town put back together. It looks pretty nice with all those seashells and pearls, huh? <laughs> well, thank you for reading Whale with me. Now, I need to get a couple of wiggles out before I do another story. Do you want to get some wiggles out with me? I'm going to start by wiggling my fingers a little bit. Can you wiggle your fingers at all? And what about your toes? I'm going to give my toes a wiggle. Can you wiggle your toes? And hmm, how about your shoulders? You give your shoulders a little wiggle jiggle. And what about your nose? This one's a tough one. Can you wiggle your nose at all? <laughs> that one's hard for me. Let's try putting them all together, right? I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. And I wiggle my nose. Phew. Now all the wiggles are out of me and I'm as still as still can be. Let's start on our next story. So the next one we're going to read is My Ocean is Blue. And the words were written by Darren LeBeau and the drawings were done by Ashley Barron. My Ocean is Blue. This is my ocean. And this is my ocean. My ocean is big. My ocean is small. My ocean is shallow. My ocean is deep. My ocean is slimy and sandy and sparkly and dull. My ocean is dotted and spiraled. What is she made in the sand here? Looks like an octopus. My ocean is wavy and straight. Sometimes my ocean is dry. Sometimes it's wet.
sometimes it's rotten. Ew. And sometimes it's fresh. My ocean splashes and crashes and echoes and squawks. My ocean laughs and hums. But at times, it's silent. My ocean appears and disappears. Sometimes the water comes really, really close and sometimes it goes really, really far away. It bobs and skips and jumps and sinks. My ocean is blue, deep blue, quiet blue, loud blue, endless blue. My ocean is also vibrant pink, rusted orange, faded white, balanced gray, runaway red, and polished green. But mostly, it's blue. My ocean is always different. I wonder what my ocean will be tomorrow. It's not really like this story because it's all one ocean, but it can be lots of different things. And we get to see a lot of opposites in this book too. Well, thank you for reading those great stories with me. How about we sing a couple of songs now before we do our craft? Um, one song that I thought we could sing together today is called The Fish in the Sea. And this one might be a familiar tune. It's to the tune of the wheels on the bus. But instead of singing about different things on a bus, we're going to sing about different things in the sea. And we will start by singing about the fish in the sea. And what did fish do? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Let's do the fish in the sea go. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Ready? <laughs> The fish in the sea go blop, 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 blop. The fish in the sea go blop, 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 all day long. The crabs on the beach go, what do crabs do? Pinching, what do they do? Snap, 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 snap. The crabs in the sea go snap, 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 snap. Snap, 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 the crabs in the sea go snap, 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 all day long. The clams in the sea go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The clams in the sea go open and shut, all day long. The dolphins in the sea go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the dolphins in the sea go round and round all day long. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. Great job! <laughs> That's a fun way to think about some different things that we see on the beach and in the sea and the different things that they do, huh? So for our next one, we got to use our hands a little bit for that song. Let's 
do another song that we can do with our hands today. How about we do Open, Shut Them? And we'll sing this one two different times, so you'll want to listen to my words and follow my actions for Open, Shut Them. Ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide, ah, your little mouth. But do not let them in. One more time, ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide, ah, your little mouth. But do not let them in. <laughs> Great job. Now, another song I'd love to sing with you today is called The Ocean Song. And this is kind of similar to The Elevator Song, if you're familiar with that one. Um, so we'll describe the ocean a bit and different things going on. And I really like this one because we get to uh, use our bodies a bit. So let's jump right in. Ready? Oh, the ocean is great and the ocean is grand. There are lots of tall ships and very little land. And we sleep down deep on, our, on the ocean floor. And this is what we do when we visit the shore. We ride the waves going up, we ride the waves going down, ride the waves going up, ride the waves going down, ride the waves going up, ride the waves going down, and we turn around. Let's try it one more time, ready? Oh, the ocean is great and the ocean is grand. There are lots of tall ships and very little land. And we sleep down deep on the ocean floor. And this is what we do when we visit the shore. We ride the waves going up, we ride the waves going down, ride the waves going up, ride the waves going down, ride the waves going up, ride the waves going down, and we turn around. Do you think we can ride those waves even faster? Let's try it. Let's see if we can go even faster. So we'll sing the song again. When we get to the part where we're going to ride the waves, we'll go pretty fast. Ready? Oh, the ocean is great and the ocean is grand. There are lots of tall ships and very little land. And we sleep down deep on the ocean floor. And this is what we do when we visit the shore. We ride the waves going up, we ride the waves going down, ride the waves going up, ride the waves going down, ride the waves going up, ride the waves going down, and we turn around. I bet we can do that even faster. Ready? Just the waves part. We ride the waves going up, ride the waves going down, waves going up, ride the waves going down, ride the waves going up, ride the waves going down, and we turn around. <laughs> going so fast, I'm knocking things over here. <laughs> that was great. How about we do one more song before we do our craft for today? And our last song that we'll do together is Goodbye Friends. So this will be really similar to our first song, Hello Friends. But this time, instead of saying hello to each other, we're going to say goodbye. And we'll use some American Sign Language to help us sing this one again. So the first sign that we need is goodbye. And I'm just going to give my hand a little wave to say goodbye. Friends, I'm going to take my two pointer fingers and give them a tap. Criss, cross. Friends, it's time. I give my wrist a tap for time. To say, point to my lips for say. Goodbye, and I give a little wave again. Ready to sing? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say 
Goodbye. Well, that was great. Thank you so much for singing with me. Very excited to start our craft together now. So let's get started. We're going to be making some fish today. Fish in the sea go blub, blub, blub. <laughs> and to make our fish, we are going to need some construction paper. You can do this in any color that you like. We are going to need some scissors. We are also going to need some tape. Um, you can also use a stapler. If you don't have a stapler, tape is just fine for this. And last but not least, we are going to need some markers or something that you can draw with. Uh, crayons or colored pencils will also work great for this. So the first things that we need for our fish are a couple different shapes and you can use any color paper that you want to cut these shapes out. The first shape that we need is one long rectangle and this is going to be the fish's body. We're also going to need a couple of different uh, size triangles. So we are going to need one big triangle. It's going to be our fish's tail. And then our fish has fins here. We have one, two. So that means I'm going to use triangles for the fish's fins. So I need one, two small triangles. So let's go ahead and make our fish now that we have all of our shapes. So the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to bend this paper so it's in half and the ends meet. I'm not going to fold it all the way, but I am going to press just a little bit down here because here is where I'm going to give my fish a mouth. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut out a triangle shape. And that's going to be where my fish's mouth is. I'm just cutting a little triangle right there. All right, so that's going to be my fish's mouth right there. But my fish needs some eyes. So I'm going to unfold this paper and I'm going to draw two eyes right here, right above my fish's mouth. And to do this, I'm going to use a black marker. You can use any color that you want. You can also always use uh, googly eyes too for your fish if you have them. I don't have any googly eyes with me, so I'm just going to use a marker to draw mine on. All right, so now my fish has some eyes for when I fold it in place. And also while it's flat, I'm going to put my fish's fins on. So these are my two triangles. And I'm just going to stick them right on either side of the fish's mouth. And I'm going to use a small piece of tape to hold these in place. Uh, glue will actually work fine for this too. I am out of glue, which is why I'm not using it. It's not because I have an aversion to glue. Which if you've seen some of my story times, you might have noticed I do sometimes. <laughs> and I'm going to stick fin number two on right here. And then you can see with this one, I gave it a little bit of a bend. I like to do that to make the fish's fins sort of stick up. So my fish has little fins sticking out there. Now, I'm going to take my fish's tail and I'm going to tape it right onto the back of the fish. And after I've taped my tail on, I'm going to sort of bend the paper again without folding it. And my fish is almost done. I just need to hold it together right at the ends. And for this, if you have a stapler, you can use your stapler and give it a little click, click, little staple right there. Let's see if I can get it on this side. Sometimes the stapler is a little bit stubborn. There it goes. And if you don't have a stapler, you can always use tape to hold this fish in place. And that's how you make your little fish friend. Now I have two fish friends. <laughs> well, thank you so much for spending some time with me today and reading stories, singing songs, and making our fish crafts as well. I had a great time with you, and I hope that I'll see you again next week. See you later.